It's holding on. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. Just a quick reminder before we get going, the Unnecessary Inventions online store is now live, so go pick yourself up something this holiday season and uh, feed that unnecessary shopping habit you have. So for today's episode, we have a very special sponsor, Bud Light. That is correct. Oh geez. I should have expected that was gonna happen. So the crispy boys over at Bud Light have seen all of my inventions and let's just say they're super fans. And they reached out to me last week wanting me to make a brand new unnecessary invention that allowed you to enjoy Bud Light absolutely anywhere that you are. But today we're gonna start completely from ground zero and I'm gonna show you how I go from absolutely no idea to the most unnecessary thing you've seen possible. So let's head over to the wall of unnecessary and see what I've made in the past to get some initial ideas. So let us see what we have here. Hey Mark. So this is one that I did. This is one that I did. I know I got a few more down here. Yep, that's another one. Another one up here. So let us start with this one here. Here we have the never spiller. So this was the perfect way to go through a party and absolutely never spill your beer and always have it stabilized. Then a super simple concept, the one can trash can. It perfectly fits only one can. What else can I say? And then this one here is one of my favorites. This is the road hold. So this is the perfect cup holder for when you're on a long distance road trip. Cars never have enough cup holders. Put this on your steering wheel and you always have your non-alcoholic drink right there. And then the last one is the 12 ounce shirt. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. It perfectly fits a can on your shirt. It's sort of like the uh, new age pocket protector, but it protects your drink. So sometimes when I have a design, I think the easiest thing is just start completely the simplest thought you could have. So take the cup holder and attach it to your phone case because if you want to enjoy a Bud Light anywhere you are, who in their right mind goes anywhere without their cell phone? So we can design a cell phone case that has a cup holder built right in anywhere you need to. So let's go design that real quick. Dimensions acquired. So now that we have all of the dimensions of a phone and a can, I went ahead and put together this 3D design. It basically just goes to that design I showed earlier of taking that old cup holder and attaching it straight to an iPhone case. It might not quite live up to the unnecessary invention standards, but it's a good place to start. So let's go hit the 3D printer. Just like that, we have the design off of the 3D printer, and all we have to do is get rid of all the supports, and then we can put it on our phone and test it out. A little 3D printing ASMR. The other big question is, will my phone fit in here? I generally did the dimensions, and look at that. It snapped in beautifully, and all of the ports are perfectly aligned. That looks pretty good. Let's go give this thing a test run. All right, while I was setting this shot up, I think I came up with a name for this device. In talking with the crew over at Bud Light for the past week, they're all about the Crispy Boys, so it would only be fitting to call this thing the Crispy Case. So we have a name for the device, but do we have a design? The can fits. Uh, hello, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just having a Crispy Boy in my Crispy Case. I gave a little indent so that the can fits perfectly against the case and it has room to move. You know, you can hold on to the case from the cup holder part, but how in the world are you gonna fit this in your pocket? You know, unnecessary inventions are not useless inventions. I do like to make my inventions practical and trying to fit this thing in your pocket is not gonna be practical. So I think we can work on the design and come up with version two. So crispy case concept one, partially there. We know we wanna make an iPhone case that can carry your beer, but it's just way too bulky. And so I think there's two design aspects that we can change on this guy. So first, I don't think we need the entire cup holder. I think we can just have a ring around the top here 
that holds the beer in and something on the bottom that holds it in. I think we can eliminate all this stuff in the center and that way you'll be able to see your can a little bit better and it won't be quite as obtrusive as this massive cup holder. Look at that. And my second idea for the design change, magnets. So what if we created a bracket on the case here and this part magnetically connected it? So you don't always have the cup holder, but you always have the option to add a cup holder to your iPhone case and it'll just... So let me take those two design changes, implement them here on the 3D design and I'll show you in just a few. Okay, so here's what I came up with with version two of the Crispy case. So I went ahead and I took out that entire middle section of the case itself because we just don't need all that bulk. And then on the back side of the case here is where you're gonna have magnets on the underside. Magnets should be strong enough to hold itself between the 3D printed plastic. So then you'll be able to attach that cup holder to your Crispy case and enjoy your ice cold Bud Light. One thing that I forgot to mention since my last video is I got a brand new 3D printer. So this little guy here is what I've been using to design all of my inventions up until now. And now this monster is his big brother, the X-Max. All right, let's go print up our next design. So we have the parts for version two of the Crispy case off of the 3D printer. So here is the case itself with the bracket for the cup holder. And I decided to go with a nice two-tone design. So a nice orange and red. I think they'll complement each other well. Similar to before, we have the supports and I gotta go ahead and take all of those off. So bear with me for one second while I do that. That was far more tedious than I wanted it to be. I need, I need a Crispy Boy. Remember everyone, always drink responsibly. But version two of the case is coming along. All we need to do is go ahead and glue in the magnets for the case so that it can snap right on and we can see what we're working with. So let's go do that super, super quick and let it dry and see how it works. And now we just wait for them to dry. And you had to wait no time at all, but I waited to let these magnets dry to see if they snap together. Moment of truth. It worked. Okay, let's try that again. Let's tone things down a notch and get ourselves a crispy boy in here to see if the magnets can hold that up. Let's see if it'll hold the weight of a full can on the magnets. Okay, it's holding on. Not too bad, let me get my phone in there. All right, design two of the crispy case. Not too bad, it's holding on. I guess not holding on all that well. I caught it before it opened up though. I barely lucked out on that one. So I suppose if you hold it from the cup holder itself, you're a little bit more in luck because the weight of the can itself, but that little disaster we just had would be a bit of an issue if you're out with your boys trying to enjoy a nice cold Bud Light. Another thing I was thinking about with this design is that I know that I would lose this part. If it isn't attached like the first version, I know that it would be just like my AirPods and I would probably lose this piece and then I would have this case for absolutely nothing. So I think the next iteration needs to take the design concept that it is still attached to the case, but at the same time also take a few of the design cues that we put into the second version. So what if for the third design, these two parts maybe folded into each other so that it laid flat on the case and then you open it up and you have the cup holder there ready for you. It kind of reminds me of those old school car cup holders. You know, the ones that sort of like are a big boxy square and then they fold down. So what if we took that design cue and sort of made a big bulky section right here that folded down and that was the base that we had. And then we have a second part that's the upper ring and then it folds up and you're able to carry your crispy case around with you like that. So you always have the cup holder. That just might work. Okay, I'm gonna go take three over to my computer 
and figure out what that design looks like and I will show you whenever I have it done. So for this hopefully final design, we have three different parts. We have the case itself, we have the upper case, and then we have the ring. So here's what the case is gonna look like completely closed. You know, it still has a little bit of unnecessary bulk because would it be an invention from me if it didn't? And then under there, we're gonna have the ring that folds up to hold your can perfectly in place. And then the bottom section there is going to be the base on which the can sits on for itself. So we're gonna print those three parts separately and then put them all together for the final case. And they'll all just sort of snap into place. We won't need any glue or any magnets or anything like that. And I decided I think we should have it match a Bud Light can. So it's gonna be a beautiful blue and a nice white. Because I don't wanna just be using this thing in the studio. We're gonna go hit the real world and see what the crispy case can do. So let's go set up the printers. Dun, 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 dun. We have the final pieces here. One, two, and a three. Once again, they have the supports on them. And this time I'm gonna spare you the annoying part of watching me take all those out. So just like that, they are completely clean and everything is looking good. So now let's go ahead and put the three parts together. They just super easily should snap right into place. We're in crispy business. Now let's test out the mechanics. You just gotta fold this down, kind of locks in place. That's pretty good. And then this guy folds right up. Look at that. It kind of looks like a person. It almost looks like a person holding it. Oh yeah, let's see. All right, that is holding it beautifully. Look at that. This isn't going anywhere. It is locked in place pretty good. This guy holds it in. You can shake her around. Yes, hello? Yeah, one sec, I'm on my way. The one-handed. I think we finally have our design. From design one, not so good. Design two, got a little better, not quite there. To the wonderfully perfected design three, crispy case. All right, as I mentioned earlier, we're not just trying this thing out here. Let's go hit the real world. I did a little bit of research while this guy was printing on the 3D printer, and there is luckily a bar right around the corner that sells Bud Light in cans, so we can go ahead and order one and throw it into our crispy case. So let's go ahead and hit the streets. Luckily this bar is only like two blocks away, so let's go check it out. And the crispy case is a unnecessary success. It has a use, but it is still unnecessary. As always with all of my inventions, be sure to go on over to Instagram to check out the official product photos. And of course you have to give this invention official rating of 10 crispy boys out of 10. If you enjoyed watching me make this completely unnecessary invention, be sure to go and uh, smash the subscribe button. While you're there, go give me a big thumbs up. But I think that's all I have for today, so I will see you at the next invention. See ya.